Hey everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial on how to do the Skyrim um, text effect, this type of effect. We're going to be using a special font today, it's called Trajan. I'm going to provide uh, links in the description below and you can go download it from there. So, uh, Merry Christmas everyone in advance. And I'm just going to tell my subscribers, I won't be posting videos for the next week because I will be overseas and will be unable to, so I apologize for that in advance. And... So this, I'm, uh, today I'm going to show you how to do the Skyrim effect in Photoshop. So I'm using CS4 today, so just go into new, and I'm just going to type in Skyrim. And as you can see here, I'm using a 12, uh, 1280x720 display, which is an HD display. But if you want uh, different dimensions, you can go ahead, it uh, depends on your choice. So press OK, and I'm just going to take the paint bucket, select black, and as you know, the Skyrim logo is black. And so, yeah. So we're just going to open up the text tool and type in Skyrim. And as you can see here, I already chose Trajan as my setting. And you can adjust um, the size, the... Sorry. You can adjust um, how big and how small you want your Skyrim text to be. But now I'm only going to be using 483 for this tutorial and I'm just going to select that. Okay, so we have our Skyrim um, layer here, our text, and we just right click into that and go into blending options. Uh, first thing you want to do is go into cover overlay, cover overlay and select. And you want a, a sort of grayish, grayish pattern, so we're just going to... something gray so I'm just gonna select E1, E1 I think E2 yep, E2 looks nice okay so press OK and then you will go into bevel and M and boss so basically this is the this is the part where you wanna pay attention to all the details so I'll just take my depth up all the way as you can see over here as I take the depth up um, the there's more detail in the gray and that's uh, the more depth, the better. The size, you want to change it to around 13. And for the degrees, you want 90 and around 42. So that's something. Use global light, you take that. Uh, you don't need to soften. And for highlight mode, well, just stick to screen. And okay. So after that, we want to go into contour. Sorry. Go back into bevel and emboss and select the opacity, drag it up uh, a little bit. Just drag it a little up so uh, there'll be a dark shade down below there. Okay, and go into contour, select anti aliased, and select this, the second one. And as you can see here, it's looking pretty nice. If you can see here, and something like the Skyrim logo. So, this should be it. If you want to change the texture, you can, but it's going to ruin um, the, the background. And if you know, there is, um, I have textures here. So, if you want to change the texture of your text, you can just drag it. So, I'll, I'll just take one of the textures here just to show you. And brush metal, I'm just going to drag it. And just going to drag it in. Okay, and I'll bring it below, and it's not like that. I'm just gonna bring it up, and when you select your um, texture layer, go into this area, and you just um, play around the settings. So you can use overlay such that the text looks brighter and stuff. And if you use different textures, you get different effects. Um, this may may ruin the effect, as you can see here. So you will want the gray type of texture. This this type of metal aluminium type of effect and you just um, use overlay or soft light. I recommend soft light because you would not want to ruin the pattern itself. And thus, this is my tutorial on how to do the Skyrim text effect. I hope you like it. I will provide links in the description below for the font. And thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.